Hello my spurring chums, how are you today? I'm alright, the weather's outside, beautiful, it's sunny. April? Yeah, April 7 or 8th, early April. Sun's shining, nice and warm, t-shirt, lovely. Okay, on to part two of the basics of basics of how to paint. Okay, to start part two, the gun, the gun of contention. Yes, it did cost me eight quid this, seriously. Um, I make these out of a paper towel, just stops from getting dirty and grimy. So I'll give you a close up of the gun. Like I say, this is eight quid. It's got a pressure regulator on it. Not a brilliant one by any means, but it works well. I don't even know who makes it. There you go. I don't know whether you can see it. Oops. Maximum 45 PSR 3 bar. Oh, there you are. Voilet. That's who makes it. HVLP. And it's been through the wars. Oh, yes. But it's a fantastic little gun. Now, the, the big thing about these things is the air cap. And this silver thing here is the air cap. You can have a, I do believe they go down as low as 1 point, uh, 0 0.6 but don't quote me on that. Anyway this one is a 0 0.8 and if you don't know what that means, hang on, that's better, if you don't know what a 0 0.8 means it's the size of that tiny little hole right there because when you pull it I don't know whether you can see it. See if I can get close up here. That tiny little needle in there lets paint out. And that hole there is a 0 0.8 millimeter. So, this is a 0.8 gun. It's HVLP, cheap and nasty, but it does the job. It's a, called a mini gun, M I N I gun. Right, next. Let's go on to the paint. This is a big grin. I love this shit. This is the paint we're using. This paint is selling in Aldi right now for a fiver. So go to your local Aldi. You'll see loads of this shit. There's some um, anti-climbing paint and all sorts. But this is the paint I used. Five pounds for the whole tin. And to be honest, I don't, oh, there you go, one litre. A litre, black paint, a fiver. Now I'll show you what a fiver gets in automotive paint, completely different. That's a fiver. That's a fiver, that's silver. And this is a fiver as well. So each one of these pots is a fiver in automotive paint and that pot's a fiver in general paint. Now you can see why I try and use general paint for the little stupid jobs that you just don't need to spend a fortune on. I mean I've still got shitloads in there. Oh, and uh, this is the bottle I pre-mixed. So I mixed the whole bottle. Yes, it's shrunk a little bit, which is absolutely fine. So what I do now is I shake it up. Pour it into the gun. Actually, I have a filter. Don't forget the little filters. Get this. Pour it into the gun with the filter. That is RTU, which means ready to use. When you're looking at paint on eBay and stuff like that, you'll see some that says RTU, ready to use. So I chuck it in there, spray it, whatever's left, I chuck it back in there, clean it out, get it done. Now, when it comes to spray guns, a lot of people say buy the best you can buy. Buy the best you can afford, because it will make your life so much here bollocks. It's bollocks. It really is. 
8 quid, sprays like a good one. 12 to 15 quid. I'm thinking it's 12. Could have been 15. But again, beautiful gun. Sprays like a good one. Really nice. It's a, again, it's a 0.8, but it's a lovely gun. I think it's a 0.8. Yes, it is a 0.8. Let me just show you that. If you have a look at the bottom of the air cap, just there, you will see that it does indeed say 0 0.8. So while we're here, I'll quickly go through guns. It's very, very easy. Don't go nuts on guns. Trust me. As you know, my little favourite sprays anything I want on it. I do have another one. It's more expensive. This was about 15 quid, something like that. It doesn't spray as good as that one. Um, but it goes, it, the, the atomization on it is nice. Do you know what I mean? The tiny little crystal paint, that's nice. But it hasn't got a very big fan. So I don't tend to use this a lot. Nice gun, but it's definitely a 15 quid's worth of gun, this one. Next up, we have uh, Devilvis MIDI, M-I-D-I. That's a mini gun, very small. Actually, this one's even smaller. So this is a very small gun. This is a mini gun, it's in between. If you have a look at the sizes of them, it's just an in-between gun. It's a mini gun, it's a Devilvis SRI. I'll only use this for top coat because it's horrendously expensive. Proper professional shit, this. Um, I've never used it yet. I haven't used it yet. But I will only ever use it for a top coat. This is a midi gun. Can't remember how much it was. 150, something like that. Good gun. And of course, you've got the full size. So you can see the difference, can't you? Small, mini, midi. Full size. This is a full size of all this. Um, I don't even know what the air cap is on this. I think it's a 1.5. Yes, it is. It's a 1.4. One. One 1.4, one one But this is my top coat gun on anything. I use this for top coat. Oh, lovely. Doesn't mean to say it's the gun for the job. Not at all. I use this to spray the TDM for all the panels at once. If I was just to do the Crash bars, top coat of crash bars. I'd clean it out and use that. Or I'd use that for the black and I'd use that for the top coat. Both mini guns. Use the gun for the right job. That one would be bike panels, singular bike panels, as in fairings, stuff like that, because it's the mid D gun, mid D. That one would be for small panels as like you watched. Use the gun for the job. Right, the mixing cup. This is a small mixing cup. Don't know whether you can see it on the background. Let's go to there. Because it only goes up to 600 mil. Uh, a lot of mixing cups go up to a litre. The reason why I had a 600 mil one is because I don't do big panels. Well, a, a full bike is classed as a big panel, but I only do little panels. Um, this is for when you get into, see if I can get it in the camera, when you get into um, your proper automotive paint and you have to put 10% reducer in, that sort of stuff, obviously 4 to 1, which is an average, 3 to 1, 2 to 1, and the general generic, which is what I use. And that's um, if you have to put 50% paint in and 50% thinners, I'd go up to the 100 and then go up to the 200 with the thinners and it's perfectly mixed. But these are the cups that I use. Again, have a look at eBay. That's what I use. Lint-free cloth. Now, you heard me say about it in the last video. Didn't have any. It just so happens that this stuff doesn't leave any lint on your panels. It's a wiping cloth. You know when I was panel wiping? You use this stuff 
wipe the panel and it doesn't leave anything on it. So it's lint free. That's what it means. Lint is the little tiny little specks that you get. Lint free cloth, a pound this from a pound shop, pound stretchers, pound land, you name it, lint free cloth. Now I've got some. So that's the mixing cups that I use, and the big one, which I find a lot of people don't know about, and it's fucking fantastic, masking paper. Where do you get masking paper from? Simply because, uh, years ago, we used to use newspaper, but that was cellulose with thinners, and it was fine. All this modern paint goes right through newspaper, and you get the ink on the paper going onto the panel. Not clever. So masking paper. As you can see, I've got a little bit here. This is um, greaseproof paper. I don't think it's waterproof. Don't know, I've never tried it. But it's greaseproof paper. Do you know where I got it from? Chip shop. Your local fish and chip shop, this is what they wrap your chips in. It's fantastic. So, went to my chip shop, local chip shop, I have a few bits, offered him a quid or something, he said forget it, buy a portion of chips and I'll give you shitloads, and he gave me shitloads of paper, I've still got loads left. That is very very good masking paper. Right, how to mix paint that has no viscosity tables whatsoever. Right, first things first, mix the bloody thing, guess what I've got on, gloves. Mix it and mix it thoroughly. Actually take the time to mix it. At least, at very least, you mix it for two minutes. Even shitty jobs like this, where it's just a stupid bit of black paint, you mix the, the main paint for at least two minutes. That's why I make a bunch of it. I don't have to go through this every time. Okay, I've mixed that for two minutes. I'm going to put a certain amount in. I don't really care how much I put in. I'm just going to put in a certain amount. All right. Right, so up to now, this is just pure paint. Right, I'm going to put a little bit in. Not a lot. Now I'm going to mix it. I don't know how much I put in. I really don't. But it's not a lot of paint. So, now it's mixed. What I do, for quickness, is I just put it on the side of the wall. As in like this. Do it again, and again, and that, I'll tell you what, that's about right. That's a bit thick, that uh, thin I mean. So that is too thin. Okay, a little bit more in, because that was too thin. Mix it again. Let's not forget this is only a fibre. So don't go screaming about wasting paint. Let me turn this round so you can see a bit better. So, what I'm looking for is an inch a second. This is an inch. Ooh. That's it. Now, I'll try and explain this. With this gun, and it's got a 0.8 needle, it's a very fine needle for spraying. Um, so the liquid has to be more water than thick, gloopy paint. Because if you have a look at this, I'll see how gloopy that is. You know what paint consistency is like. Very gloopy. That is like um, 
That is basically the same consistency as your gloss at in-house. You know, when you're glossing your walls, it's roughly the same consistency. So, I'll thin this down to where it's running about one inch in one second. So you ready? You're looking at around about an inch a second. That is thin. But that is what I'm looking for. That consistency. Now that will come out of my tiny little spray gun perfectly. This is just over thinned. It's not in the best of conditions, but if you can see the damage, that's just been scraped on a wall or, you know, just general wear and tear really.